Alright, I think everybody knows how I feel about the matchup Pearl, so my expectations were a bit tempered going into the matchup Black Pearl. I've been very pleasantly surprised though, not quite Hustle Link surprised, but the Black Pearl is just short of outstanding. Objectivity is always the name of the game here, but so is Honesty, and I was hard on the matchup Pearl, so I need to give this one its due credit because it really is surprisingly good. Now for the videos here, Angel threw seven different balls, and this one looked the best for her out of all of them, so that's why I'm showing her first this time. My first reaction to this ball is that it looks like a budget torrent. Not quite as strong, obviously, a little bit longer and punchier, but it's very even, it's very smooth, it's remarkably consistent at the breakpoint, and it doesn't bleed or burn energy. It keeps coming back up the hill like a hectic, I uh, like the torrent, and honestly it shapes like a nano cover ball to me. It has that idle-like motion to it, obviously about an arrow and a half weaker, but I think this ball will come as a surprise to a lot of people. I don't think anyone really thought, oh wow, let's take the matchup pearl, change the color, and sand it. That'll be a <laughs> that'll be a great idea, except of course for the team at HQ. I said in my wish list video that they needed to clean house with the hotline. I really didn't want to see another matchup. I also said I liked the core but didn't really get along with Reactor except for the hybrid version. However, I also said in my preview video that this ball actually could be quite a bit different because color does matter. I also had a separate discussion with Chad about color and its effects. He said dark colors are usually cleaner and snappier, and oranges, pinks, and reds are usually smoother. I remember uh, years ago when Ebonite released the original mission, they said they tested 23 different colors, and the red pearl that they chose was the color that reacted the best. I'm definitely seeing the effects of the color change in the surface. This ball shares nothing in common with the matchup pearl in my mind from a reaction standpoint, and obviously in my opinion that's all good news. While I don't have the experience with it yet on a wider range of conditions and situations, I really expect to have a glowing two-month report card for it. Very rarely do I get a bad read on a ball or have it do well at first and disappoint me later. Usually I have a good idea what the outcome is going to be, and I'm really happy with what I'm seeing out of this ball. This wasn't at all the package I wanted to see next on the hotline, but it's absolutely the kind of reaction I wanted to see, so all good things here, really. Again, I like to keep personal bias out of the reviews, but I think what you're watching just speaks for itself. This ball shares a few things in common with Hustle HYB, but I much prefer this one. The HYB is rollier and a bit lazier on the back end for me, but this one gets down the lane easier and is much more consistent at the break point. It's a couple boards stronger than the matchup hybrid, that's to be expected with the 2000 grit finish. And also on a fun note, I'd rank this one third on the best scent Storm's ever made. This smells like they combined the berry from the high road with the strawberry from the X Factor Triple Extreme, and the scents on both this and the Intense Fire are a little stronger than the scents have been as of late, which I'm happy about. The scents for the last year or so have been a little softer, not quite as prominent, but these will give you that burst of goodness when you open the bag every time. Both the matchup Pearl and Intense Fire are a couple of very good releases that I'm happy and quite excited about. Thanks for watching. For extra premium content, early access, behind the scenes looks, private Q&As, blogs and more, join a passionate new type of bowling community at www.patreon.com/lukerosedahl.